Well, go film the video, okay? Yeah? All right. You gonna hang out? Eat some more food? All right, so welcome back to the video. And welcome back to the channel. I feel like it's been a little bit since we kind of slowed down and uh, just kind of talked, let you guys you know, on the update. If you've been following the last few videos, you know I'm on prep. And now I'm under four weeks out from my first national men's physique competition. So it's been a lot. Training right now is 45 minutes of fasted cardio in the morning. And I'll talk a little bit about the supplements I take for that. And then usually about one o'clock, I'll hit the gym and then that'll be my like, two and a half hour training session, about half an hour of cardio at the end, sometimes pose. So it's, it's definitely a lot because when you're, when you're doing that and um, you're steadily increasing the cardio, this training still intense, um, but the carbs are dropping week to week, you know, your overall calories are dropping, it gets a little difficult. This right here is gonna be for the training session. I do a little bit of pride pre-workout, just a scoop. Actually right now I'm doing a scoop and a half, so I'll add in a little bit more and um, this flavor just dropped. Yeah, he'll tire out in a minute. Yeah, if you didn't see, that's the, that's Rizzo, the uh, new member of the household here. He's a good dude. I'm teaching him to focus, yeah. But, uh, yeah, man, I got him. He's a little red-nosed American Pit Bull Terrier. Picked him up about a week ago. And uh, I mean, he's been good. Like my schedule's so regimented right now. He's getting out, getting his food. Uh, so he's been a happy little guy. But uh, yeah, r really recommend this pre-workout. Uh, it's got a nootropic focus blend, a five stage energy release. So it's real smooth and uh, comes in some solid flavors. And also has um, L-citrulline based pump formula in there too. So that combined with like a little pre-workout snack I'll show you guys been getting some solid pumps still in the gym even at this point in prep uh, but for that morning cardio I was telling you about this is what I take so uh, first things first to wake up in the morning take a riso out so there's no accidents and I'll get a scoop of uh, oxy shred so this is kind of like the caffeine also has some nootropics in there so it does help me focus kind of wakes my mind up for the day and then I'll usually hit the bike for about 45 minutes of steady state cardio so as soon as I sip that all the Throw some BCAAs and EAAs in with uh, a little bit of extra glutamine just to help kind of overall an immune function with the glutamine and then also just uh, help preserve as much muscle as I can by like, shuttling especially those EAAs to my muscles while I'm doing that fasted cardio. Um, like is it fully necessary? You know it's such a small fraction of a percent that it probably helps uh, but I do believe it helps and it's, it's something good to sip on to uh, in the morning when you're <laughs> when you're hungry, but you know you got uh, a good minute on the bike. So that's that with the morning supplements. Um, once I'm done with the cardio, I get a meal in, and then uh, then I take kind of like your classic supplements that are more like greens and vitamins and all that. So all of that's gonna be up here. All right. So these are all the morning essentials that I take. And uh, yes, it's a lot, but. Comparison to everything I'm eating is really not that much. Um, so the general multivitamin, uh, this mild bite's great because it, it covers a lot. Like there's some greens included in there, um, joint support, probiotic. So a, a good kind of all-in-one package and they come out in these, let's take that. They come out in these little packets. So, you know, I just pop one of these a day right after my first meal and then I'm also throwing a few additions. So, spirulina, I've seen some interesting research on it. It's kind of a, a super green, um, just for general well being. And they come in these little, you know, just, it tastes terrible because I take them with water. But, uh, you know, just some like pressed powder tablets. That one's solid. I go with two capsules of the gamma aminobutyric acid. Um, so, that is supposedly helps with my sleep, which I'll definitely, uh, you know, invest in because it's key for recovery. So it promotes relaxation, uh, better sleep, vitamin D3, man, very essential. This, this has a little bit of vitamin D3 in there, but especially being in Ohio where it's cloudy, the majority of the time, just not getting enough vitamin D 
is a big problem around here, so I really make sure I double down on that. So I take a 5,000 IU pill in addition to what's in the myovite. I also take one serving of the ZMX squared, which is uh, three of the capsules. So it's zinc, magnesium, vitamin B6. This is another supplement that supposedly helps with uh, improved like restfulness when you sleep. Uh, said to possibly lower anxiety and can possibly help correct low test levels. All around, you know, especially for us training a lot and needing to recover a good general kind of well-being supplement. Uh, bromelain, this is something that I've thrown in for a good while now into my diet. So I'm eating six meals a day, very high protein, 30 to 40 grams, but really 35 to 40 grams of protein at every meal. Um, and bromelain is, is one of the key enzymes in digesting protein. Um, so I'm taking one of these in the morning, one in the evening. Along with Humanifor, kind of another well-being supplement, you know, designed to help the body produce as much lean muscle mass as possible. You know, obviously it, it does that indirectly. But there's some real there's some real interesting research on this guy, um, and I've been feeling great taking it. And then finally, uh, just some general liver support. Uh, so I take all these guys uh, once with the rest of the morning supplements, and then also once in the in the evening with the, you know kind of with my fifth meal or so. So there's two more supplements that I do want to reference um, and both just go into my protein shake that I have right after I train. So one being this general protein powder. I do like taking that plant-based protein powder from EHP Labs. Their line is just, their vegan line happens to be called Blessed. Um, that's just because I have some dairy issues and I'm not trying to take a lactate every time I drink a protein shake. Um, so I mix that in with a little bit of creatine. So this as far as I think maybe like spending goes R really as far as just getting the most for your money's worth. If I had to narrow it down to the top two or three, I would go with the uh, the creatine for sure is number one because that's just huge in, in shuttling energy into the muscle. Um, so you, your endurance while your training's better, your strength is a little bit better, and then because you're holding some extra water in the muscle, you, you really fill out a little bit more once that's loaded into your muscles. Probably two and three would be a quality protein because. You know, if you're trying to get in a large amount of protein during the day, it's it's hard to, to do that with full meals every day. You know, when you're cutting, you're a little more hungry, um, but especially if you're bulking, you're trying to put on size, you're pounding down the carbs along with the protein. Um, doing something like a protein shake where you can blend that up, you know, maybe throw in some peanut butter, some other carbs. You know, again, if you're bulking, that's a little more conducive for something high calorie, but you know, that's, that, that's just money. It's easy, it's portable. And then I think lastly, I mean, you know, de definitely do your research on like the smaller kind of more vitamins and, and uh, greens that I showed you, but um, man, investing in a good, just general pre-workout. Uh, the BCAAs, the glutamine, you know, all that is great extra. Uh, but if you have a good pre-workout, you know, you obviously want to watch if you're sensitive to caffeine. But with a good pre-workout, you can really get more out of your training sessions. So, you know, for me at this point in prep, when I'm this tired, I'm like, really, starting to think Rizzo has some pre-workout too. <laughs> but when you're at this point in prep, man, it, it makes a big difference because I'm able to get a lot more out of those sessions. I gotta go to the gym, man. All right, well, once we left, I realized I didn't do like my little uh, pre-workout snack, uh, whatever you want to call it for the pump. Um, but what, what I'll typically do is I'll just get one rice cake, which would have been my last carbs for the day. And then if I have a little bit of fat, like a, I mean, I keep it small, like a quarter, yeah, about a quarter tablespoon of peanut butter, or maybe, you know, like an ounce of avocado, just something to kind of spread on there to put a little bit of salt on that'll, that the salt will stick to, give you a little bit of flavor and a little bit of sanity on prep. And then, um, the pump from that is great, but I didn't have anything other than, you know, the l citrulline that's in the pre-workout. So, hopefully I can still get a good pump today, but man, I'll have to show you guys that another session. I'm gonna do 
five sets right here total. So there's two working sets and a couple warm ups that are working weight. Just taking that 225 for 10 to 12. Uh, and the focus is, uh, yeah, like with these first compounds in this, in this workout, I want us to move some weight. Uh, but I want to make sure everything is real controlled. This squeeze. So if you notice, I'm kind of weird. Like I start out uh, just with the normal grip for my incline press, and then as I get into the set, just to feel it a little bit more. It's definitely safer to do it with a spot, spotter, but I'll move my thumbs from you know fully underneath the bar to resting, just kind of resting on the uh, the bottom of the bar. So I'm pushing right with the pads of my hands because all I want to do is flex the upper chest. So. Everything's planted, feet are planted, butt's planted in the chair, I'm not lifting that up. I just want to squeeze everything up, every rep, just with my upper chest as much as possible. So that's the focus of the lift, you know, so shoulders are back. I'm also doing my best to keep my shoulders retracted on that throughout the set. And uh, you know, I'm confident with this weight. I'm not going to get stronger over these next four weeks, uh, but I am going to do my best to maintain as much of my strength as I can. Yesterday, this is Tuesday right now. Our big back session. And that was four cups of carbs. Today, one and a half. A little over two cups of carbs, right? And I've already had them all. And I could tell because the, the wall hits. And Mike knows because he was spotting me when I was finishing up the last sets on the, uh, the incline press. But the weight's still there. I can I could tell just my, my endurance. It, just because the, the, the fuel in my body is so low that uh, the endurance still isn't there, but the strength isn't bad. But uh, you know, when you're doing five sets on these compounds, you know, that fourth or fifth set, that's when you kind of know where your body's at. But still good, still pushing. Gonna hit, um, man, prep brain. Completely lost the, the name of the exercise. Gonna hit a dumbbell pullover. Um, and I'll show you guys a tip on this one, because, uh, I've used it as like, you know, you have machine pullovers that are better for your lats. I feel those kind of pullovers better for my back, but uh, the dumbbell, if you do it the right way, is really good for the chest. So what I do here, is once I kind of get in position on the bench, right, my upper back's on the bench, pretty stable, right, I like to kind of first do just a little mini press just to activate my chest a little more. And then I'm coming back, right, nice deep stretch. And when I push up, I'm pushing my, lifting my chest up, right? I'm not coming all the way back to the starting position. So I want a little bit of tension. So that's why I'm stopping up back up here. And then come in, deep stretch. Push, push my chest up. And that way, the weight is really being moved by my chest and not my lats. Ooh, just like that. Oh. tricky getting in and out, but I'm just gonna use my elbows to get the weight over my chest.
All right, we're wrapping up here with these last two exercises. So you guys saw me finish off chest with the dips. And uh, that's nice because it's a good transition into the triceps. So my coach sets that up really well. And uh, isolated the triceps, the two movements. Kind of tried to do my best to really feel in the outer head on the rope extensions. And then obviously the long head going overhead with the dumbbell overhead extension. And uh, this one just kind of burning everything out with uh, diamond push-up or triangle push-up and uh, throwing some abs in between there just to get those in and that's it. My energy, it's not bad today. So it, it only gets tougher as the week goes on. Like I said, these are the two higher carb days and I, I, I got them all in. So it'll, uh, it's usually a tough Wednesday through Friday for sure. And the weekend workouts are a little bit shorter put on some NFL, you know, so that's the saving grace. But uh, the Browns ain't looking so hot, so I don't know. I might just tune in to uh, see what the Rams are doing, the LA Rams. Follow Odell over there, because <laughs> good grief, man. Let's get this next set. So that's the session. This is where it really sets in. 30 minutes post-workout cardio. But it's all part of the process. And uh, it's not too late either. Made pretty good time. Anyway, that's all I got for you. That's the supplement breakdown. It's all the chest session at this point in prep. Definitely stay tuned. I'll be doing videos a little bit more frequently. Down the stretch here as I get ready to compete in Orlando at the end of or mid-December. And uh, it should be a fun little ride. So appreciate you guys watching comments and everything. It's another day of work. What I know. I'm just Merck.